Hello everyone, Potato Preaker here, and in this series of videos, I'll be talking about the mercs, and how to use them while leveling, and when to use each one. So in this episode, I'm going to talk about the Act 1 Rogues. Now previously, the Rogues were rarely used. They would be used by new players, who were excited to have the first merc, and they would just stick with them, not realizing how much better Emilio in Act 2 was. Either that, or they simply felt bad to ditch someone who would help them kill Andy, and so stuck by her side, like a loyal partner. But has all that changed, Patch 2.4? They received a couple updates in the PTR. But are they enough to actually make her viable? Well, first, let's go over the changes. First, we had the first 2.4 patch changes. Updated each stat and skill gain in each difficulty to match so that there is no disadvantage of leveling up a Hell Difficulty Mercenary versus a Normal Difficulty Mercenary. Cold Merc, we see Reason Arrow, and the Fire Merc added Explosion Arrow. They also added a few changes to the Wound Words, which affect the Rogue as well. First being Insight. They also added new Wound Words that weren't in the game before such as the Helm Wisdom. Made with a Pull, Ith, Eld. It adds a 33% Kirsten attack, plus 15-25% to bonus to attack Raiden, 4-8 to mana stolen per hit, plus 30% enhanced defense, plus 10 to energy, 15% slower stamina drain, cannot be frozen, plus 5 mana after each kill, and 15% damage taken goes to mana. They also added in Flicker and Flame Helm, which requires a Nef Pull Vex, get a level 4 to 8 resist fire when equipped, plus 3 to fire skills, minus 10 to minus 15% to enemy fire resistance, plus 30% enhanced defense, plus 30 defense versus missiles, plus 50 to 75 to mana, half freeze duration, plus 5% to maximum fire resist, poison length reduced by 50%. They also added in the mist for bows and crossbows, which requires a cham, shell, gull, thal, ice. Get a level 8 to 12 concentration aurora when equipped, plus 3 to all skills, 20% increased attack speed, plus 100% piercing attack, plus 325 to 375 enhanced damage, plus 9 to maximum damage, 20% bonus to attack rating. Adds 3 to 14 cold damage. Freeze target plus 3, plus 25 vitality, and all resistance is 40%. Most of the wound words, besides the inside and the bow, are a bit more expensive. Wisdom being the cheapest, requiring a pull room. Now let's look at the second round of PTR. Can now use Amazon bows. Can now gain plus Amazon skill bonuses from gear. All in all, Decent changes to the Act 1 Rogue Mercenaries, but are they good? Will it still only be new players using her, or people not wanting to hurt her feelings by abandoning her? I did some testing, playing around with using her at various levels throughout the game, and in all honesty, she's decent. The amount of Freezing Arrow and Explosion Arrow, while Richie does not unlock until level 30 and 12 respectively, help a lot. Reason Arrow for Crowd Control, and Explosion Arrow for DPS. Unlocking Reason Arrow at level 30 is a bit of a hamper though. If you're playing as a class that stays back, she does the same. So she works great with Boazons, Trapsons, Sorceresses, and so on. If you play melee, she does tend to run around a bit more. She tries to stay close to you, which results in her running around trying to avoid the enemies and not attacking as much as I'd like. And if you're doing a speed run, you're still not gonna use her. But otherwise, she's decent. You can either wait until you're level 9 to hire whichever mercenary you like, either cold or fire, or you can kill Blood Raven and be given one for free, but you don't know which type you're gonna end up getting. How do you pick between fire and ice? And how do you equip her? If you're looking for DPS, damage per second, you'll want the fire rogue. Early on, equip her with a 
three socket hunter bow and add a couple rubies. Even chipped will help. You can actually go a long ways with this bow. If you're looking for crowd control or if you're playing as a fire bow is on, then cold would do a great job. Once again, a three socket hunter's bow, except this time use sapphires. Once you can make your insight, however, that can be a huge change to your character. Act 2 Merc was often used with an insight woundward. Now you can use your rogue, who will stay away from trouble instead of running into it like the Act 2 Merc. Equip her with a lore woundward for some plus to skills and the stealth armor, both of which are fairly cheap. Once you're a higher level and you can afford them, treachery is great as well. Another huge change for the rogue is that you can now use another rune word on her, Melody. This requires a Shoal, Kull, Neff. It has plus 3 to bow and crossbow skills, 20% increased attack speed, plus 50% enhanced damage, plus 300% damage to undead, plus 3 to slow missiles, plus 3 to dodge, plus 3 to critical strike, knockback, and plus 10 to dexterity. Or you couldn't use this wound word. Thanks to the rogues now being able to use Amazon skill gear, she can use this wound word. It gets some knockback, which will help with crowd control, and plus to skills. If you find this on a bow that already has plus to skills, you now add in even more. You get up to plus six to skills. Now it does only have the 50% ED, but with the plus to skills, it can offset that a bit. Pair that with the new wound, wound word flicker and flame if you're using the fire rogue and that's some decent fire damage you'll be doing which could hold you over until you can make your mist woundward not cheap but offers some decent damage should be noted however that she can't use all amazon skills you use the peace woundward she will not trigger the valkyrie skill not surprising but a bit disappointed i thought it would be fun for her to have her own while well, i had one as well so all in all, the changes to the Act 1 Rogue were actually great. They turned her from someone who rarely got used and made her more useful. Will she become the most used Merc? I don't know about that. But you should be seeing a lot more Rogues now instead of everyone just using Emilio. It should also be noted that the Merc is not meant to kill everything. That's your job. Your Merc is there to assist you. So will she be an unkillable killing machine? No, but will she offer you assistance? She sure can. So I am going to equip her quickly. Low level gear, she's level 30. We'll give her the insight, stealth, and lore. At the moment, I am using the cold world. We'll just let her do some killing. As you can see, she is definitely holding her own. So as you can see, she definitely holds her own. Well, thank you for watching. Comment down below on what you think of the new Act 1 Rogues. If you like what you saw, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you, and goodbye.